We'll be doing this every day for five days. We'll be doing all of the goats today. So hopefully we can get them treated and eliminate all of the coxie in the two goats that were tested positive. If two of your goats test positive and you have more than two, most likely the rest of them also have it. So we're treating the entire herd today um, just so we can get rid of that. So we'll be doing this every day for five days. This is day one. Hi, everybody. You came to say hello? I thought they would want these berries more. I'm surprised. How did this fall over? The boy is out there. He'll come. He's good. Who's buying? The little boy, he's out. Oh. Three milliliter per 10 kilogram goats. Five, so we'll go about there for her. All right. Love that one, too. Okay, bring her here a little. So let's hold her. Okay, open up her mouth. Perfect, she swallowed it down. Okay, let's get another goat. Perfect. Okay, next one. So we got honey and pepper and empty. Now, uh, Violet. One more goat, and that's Violet, and she's not wearing a collar. She always manages to get it off somehow, and she's the most skittish. So it's gonna take a little grain to lure her in. So if you guys are thinking about getting a cow for, especially a meat cow for your farm, uh, that's the reason why we got T-Bone here just a few days ago. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be making a lot more content on what to do and what to expect when you get your first meat cow. That'll be coming up. Okay. Just put it up here for now. Older, open her up. Did you have to sneeze on me? Oh, come on, girl. There we go. That's it. That's it, little girl. Quickly, okay? Tiny you are. You're so tiny. You're so cute. She's a crazy girl. This is such a big fat boy goat. Oh my gosh. Okay, you go on. All right, she gets the last bit. She's a hard one to catch, just like her mom. Swaggle. Good. Calm down. You're good. See? I don't think it's swallowed. It did. I put it aside. She swallowed. She's just crazy. Hold her till she calms down. She's got to get used to being handled. She can't act crazy like that all the time. Oh. Brother and sister? Half brother and sister. By dad only. Why are the boys so calm and chill and then the girls are always so flighty? Like this boy here? 
she was in the house, she wouldn't care. She mm -hmm. would trip out. I'm gonna go get this guy. Okay. Okay, well at least we got everybody. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to give them ivermectin for the deworming because some of my goats haven't been dewormed yet and I'm also going to treat them for coccidiosis so I'll be doing all of the goats and getting everybody up to date on everything. Violet is gonna be a hard one. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a doctor. Can you do it on the other side? This side. Got it. Run for a bit. Nice boy. He'll come up to you and give you a hug. Yeah. Go away. Here come the chickens. <laughs> they don't usually venture too far into the orchard uh, unless we're around because they're pretty wary of aerial predators and right on this side here it's pretty foresty and really woodsy. We've been seeing foxes coming through here pretty much every day so I've been keeping a really keen eye on the birds and they've been sticking closer to their coop as well. One way I'm also preventing predators from getting my birds is by letting them out much later in the day. Letting them out around 1 or 2 p.m. because also we're not getting nighttime till around 9 p.m. here. We get a lot of daylight, especially at this time of the year. So by letting them out a little later in the day, we're going to prevent predators being able to get them earlier in the day. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this video. Be sure you subscribe and like and make sure you share the video because it's the best way to help us out. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.